Okay, the next one, and I've asked you all to bring a player. Um, there's there was one exclusion, and I'll go into it. Um, but Aurelian mm-hmm. and many. It basically looks like we're out of the race. Uh, Real Madrid and PSG are now are now fully in it. Um, the, the, we were confirmed to be talking to his representatives. It seems like he has a preference of Real Madrid. However, and he's also agreed a deal with Real Madrid, apparently. Um, however, PSG, most particularly Kylian Mbappe, their new sport and director, owner, manager, <laughs> captain, um, wants Aurelien Chouameni. Um, and they're willing to spend up to $100 million, something that, that Real Madrid are apparently not willing to do. So that's taken Liverpool out of the race. Um, but Matty... You know, it would have been nice to have Aurelien and Chouameni. I think the Mbappe deal has screwed everything up. I think if Mbappe went to Real Madrid, we, we sign Aurelien and Chouameni. It's not even a question in my mind. But with him out the race, we've been linked with a, a fair few other players. Uh, Sang, Sang, Sangri, I don't know how you say his name, the PSV um, guy. Uh, we've also been linked with Yves Basuma in the past. There's a lot of Jude Bellingham as one. I have excluded him in the question I'm going to answer you because uh, I think everyone would choose Jude Bellingham if we had to. But, Matty, looking at other alternatives, who would you choose out of him? There's, there's a, a big market in the midfield at the moment, especially, you know, young, powerful, you know, midfielders who can play in multiple positions. So, too many wasn't the only option, but there's other options out there, isn't there? Yeah, there is other options out there, but I don't think there's too many stuff done yet, to be honest. I think like he's not officially said Real Madrid yet. There's still been um, Gino saying that it could still happen. It still could go to Madrid. So I think it's still a bit up in the air, but if we do lose him, um, I don't even know. I actually don't have a clue. Like If we if we don't get him, we could come in. Like Obviously, I want Bellingham, but I think that'll be next summer. But then... Everyone says Dortmund aren't going to sell Haaland and Bellingham in the same year. But when they won the league, they sold Hummels, Lewandowski. Um, I think who else did they sell that year? They sold all the stars. Goethe. Yeah. So, so why won't they sell Bellingham and Haaland in the same summer? I think. That's probably why they all have, isn't it? But that's not the, that's the whole philosophy of their club, isn't it? To, I know. to just sell it for profits. And I do think if you, if you tempted Dortmund with a decent enough offer, you could get them, to be honest. Even though he's excluded, there's nobody else I want. Like, <laughs> like there's, there's no, I, but I do think that Bellingham's probably more like Hendo's long term replacements. I think mm-hmm. Hendo's probably got another season in them of consistently playing. Um, so it's, it's who's basically coming in to learn off Thiago, really, for that left centre mid ball, isn't it? So I, I don't know, I really don't have a clue, but I'm not into that, that PSV fella. I don't think he's that good. I mean, one person we haven't really been linked with. But uh, Ayusha said it here, um, if I can find it. Declan Rice. Tino, is, is that an option? You know, I'm, I haven't been massively impressed with him this season from where I've watched him. But apparently, according to everybody, he's been the best defensive midfielder in the league. But he, he, I don't think Declan Rice is a thing. But what are your thoughts on a Tino? And also, who too, who would you sign if we are out of the two in any race? Um. I think Declan Rice has done very, very well uh, this season. He's shown for for West Ham and for England the different types of of defensive midfielder uh, that role. He can he can screen. He can be a bit more aggressive in the challenges. Um, if we, the only way for me we go and sign someone like Declan Rice is if Fabinho leaves, which is never going to happen. Um, I, I don't think he's worth the. 80, 100 million, however much West Ham want for him. There's the English tax on top of that that you've got to pay. And it's just, I don't see it happening. I really don't see us wasting that much money on on someone like him. Um, A player, when I was thinking about who I would choose, a player who's not a a defensive midfielder per se, but a, a midfielder that I would love to see in a Liverpool shirt is Nicola Barella. Uh, Inter, Inter Milan, he's, he's done phenomenally this year. 12 assists, three goals. He's played over 40 
I think close to 50 games this season, which is basically in line with what we play. Um, he's he's a he's a true top quality player. He's 25. His value, according to transfer Markt, is around 70 million euros. So it kind of fits in with with the price that I'd expect us to play, pay for a, a, a midfielder. Uh, and he's certainly someone that I would I would absolutely love to see in a Liverpool shirt. Yeah, I mean, Jay, you know, I think Barella's a, a really good shout, but again, he's probably going to cost a lot of money. Um, one person that signal uh, eSports has put here, which I feel like we, we forgot, is Gavi. A lot of people have said that we've been in touch with Barcelona. Uh, he would be free if we were to sign him. Um and it doesn't look like at the moment that talks are going great. Uh, both sides are saying that, that they're not in contact with anyone. They've sent their offers and no one's responding. So there seems to be a bit of hostility there. And Jürgen Klopp's an admirer of him. And what Matty said, I think we're signing Bellingham next season. Even though we're signing, we might be signing Bellingham next season, I think we... We ha- we signed two midfielders in them next two seasons. I think even if we were to sign Aurelien and Truemeni, we still were going to sign Bellingham because of, of Thiago's age. So you know we've got a, a right centre mid and left centre midfield role to fill. You know where Harvey Elliott comes along, who knows? But you know I think Gavi would be a great option. But if not, who who are you going for? Um. That, I think Matthew was right. There's loads of conflicting reports about Shimani. Um I've heard he's agreed terms with both clubs. I've heard he's obviously closer to Madrid. And then I read that Liverpool are going to go in there for him after the final. We want to do the final first and then go to him with a proper offer. So with a bit of luck that comes in, because um, the thought of having him to be in Owen Bellingham next year, like you're talking dominance, that'd be a ridiculous midfield. There isn't really anyone like Shimani. At the minute, in Europe for his age and stuff, he can do everything. Um, but I like Berea as well, like Tino said. Um, if you couldn't get too many, I do like Berea. I like Oar at Leon, but no one seems to ever go in for him, and it makes me wonder why. He link, must, he's linked with everyone every season, and he never goes. There must be something wrong with him. There must yeah, be something that's what I'm thinking. Him. He must have like an attitude problem because for the last like two or three years. He's been available for like 25 or 30 million or something. And one week he's going Tottenham, then he's going Arsenal, then he's going Chelsea. It, there must be a reason he's never moved. But as a player, I think he's class. Um, I like Ruben Neves. And um, there's a lot of Gladbach that I like as well, uh, called Kone. But I don't many people know much about him. He's, he's a bit like Keita, to be honest. Um, and he's only 20. But uh, I really like the look of him at Gladbach. Well... Uh, why you bring him up? He was my option. Um, <laughs> yeah, was he? Um, yeah, right, lad. <laughs> yeah. so, again, twenty-one years old. He's six foot three. He yeah. can play in defensive mid, central mid. He's played attacker mid for Gladbach. He's an absolute monster. Very highly rated in the Bundesliga. And I, honest to God, think you could probably get him for cheaper than thirty million. You know, that's why I like him. I just think he takes every box that kid. He's a bit like Basuma. Yeah, uh, and another one here is Conrad uh, Lima, another mm. really good option. I think we'd have to battle a lot of clubs to sign him. No, uh, there's loads of options. I, 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 I do think there's players like True Many, maybe not as good, but there's definitely players in his mold. Um, Kone is one. Uh, Sangor, I, I, I hate names. Uh, that PSV guy. Um, definitely again it is in the mould but uh, you know going on uh, a war he's been linked with Arsenal for the past like four years him yeah. I feel like he was just destined to join Arsenal and then flop uh, but maybe Odegaard was was him but you know th- there's loads of options I think Bellingham's the ideal one if we don't get too many but I, I just don't think that's that's happening if I'm going to be honest 